what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about harry potter in this video here today i've never talked about harry potter on this franchise well yeah i did that uh fantastic beast review earlier this year but that's kind of the only time i really dived into anything about the wizarding world thus far uh we might be talking about it a lot more going forward if things start to fall in place for something i would love to see happen if all the uh appropriate ingredients can come together of course during a investors conversation or investors call that happened recently warner brothers discovery ceo david sasloff i'm pretty sure i butchered your last name had some interesting comments for potterheads out there again this was made during a investors call recently um, he said we're going to have a real focus on franchises we haven't had a superman movie in 13 years we haven't done a harry potter movie in 15 years that's not entirely true either that's not that's actually not true at all the dc movies and the harry potter movies provided a lot of the profits of warner brothers motion pictures over the last 25 years if we can do something with jk rowling on harry potter going forward you know lord of, he mentioned lord of the rings he asked what are we doing with game of thrones what are we doing with a lot of with big franchises that we have we're focused on franchises he concludes of course that means they are interested in more harry potter movies correct however it also seems like with a statement like this fantastic beasts four and five are stalled and they're not going to happen due to the downward trend from those recent films even though i enjoy them i can admit that yes that second movie that came after the first one i thought was pretty good was a step in the wrong direction and probably the thing that started to turn a lot of people off from not seeing anything from the wizarding world that wasn't connected to harry potter especially when that was riddled with so many uh plot issues and writing issues uh chris columbus i know in the past who worked on the earlier harry potter movies as a director he's expressed interest in doing a cursed child adaptation but i think that would have to be completely reworked into a screenplay that fans universally love since that story is not welcomed by most myself included in that also you have the issue of daniel ratcliffe he's already expressed that he doesn't want to be known as simply harry potter forever and enjoys doing projects that help him become more established as an actor that isn't just known for one role realistically though the man would need to be part of something that's bigger than harry potter because i can't see him getting rid of that title since he brought to life one of the biggest characters in history and the franchise achieved tremendous financial success that none of these other projects he's working on have achieved if i'm wrong in that statement you can correct me i don't think any of the things he's done afterward have achieved that same financial success it's not even a matter of something i think he will ever be able to escape just because of how big harry potter was it's fine if you want to be known as more but i would say you would also need to understand why you there's other factors as to why you're always going to be known as harry potter it's just god honest truth so radcliffe has also distanced himself from from jk Rowling's recent comments regarding the lgbtqia plus community there's also the hurdles of getting rupert and emma watson back as well ideally if this were to happen i'd prefer to see a story centered on harry's darkest case as an aura since we know that's something that he went on to do uh, although i've seen the argument he should have probably been a defense against the dark arts teacher which i i think that would be a, a suitable fit for him as well so i would love to see like a three picture deal maybe happen with us exploring his darkest case as an aura him and ron and of course hermione in the mix unearthing a new dark wizard reminiscent of voldemort but darker as well without being related to tom riddle in any way either and that's not me trying to shade <laughs> the cursed child i swear i just think it's best to not try to you know tack on all these re re relatives that you didn't have previously because you already had that with fantastic beasts i would i would say avoid that at all costs now the ceo's comments don't have to literally mean new harry potter movies though because the wizarding world has so many threads that can be done as prequel series like a series centered on sirius lupin james and peter aka the marauders to a lot of people uh a series on snape voldemort or even dumbledore could be enough to satisfy potter heads if done right right now i think the biggest obstacle if they genuinely just want proper harry potter films is understanding why fantastic beast didn't completely work from a writing standpoint so that those same issues do not plague what you want to do with a harry potter revival now all the controversy aside perhaps one rowling shouldn't be writing the screenplay at all and maybe someone else should be brought in to outline or to adapt whatever outlines rowling comes up with and just you know take what she has in mind since these are her characters but again flesh them out in your own way because i think that for me 
having read those books not hasn't i haven't read them in a while i'm going to say that it's probably been over 10 years since i've read them what stood out to me though what i remember is that jk rowling was always good at writing novels at writing those harry potter books when it comes to these screenplays that she's worked on with fantastic beasts that is the thing that i'm like eh no you probably are more suited for again working on writing maybe a new chunk of harry potter books and maybe some people would also argue we don't need new harry potter movies if they are not based on books that she's written with a clear-cut idea so that way you're not stuck making movies and not having a single plan in mind because i i really do think that while fantastic beast obviously was building towards dumbledore and grindelwald's battle you could argue that stuff in the mix to some people was would highlight that there's no real plan here they're just making up stories as they go along and the only thing that's planned is that battle between Dumbledore and Grindelwald nothing in between is planned they're all just thinking of ways to make this work as they work their way up to that inevitable battle whereas with the adaptations of Harry Potter they had novels to work with they were already existing and just of course tweaking things and leaving things out that a lot of people don't really like and that's also why I've known I've seen some people argue about the fact that if they were to do a TV series adaptation that would allow them to flesh out the books properly a little bit better or adapt them better maybe those are better suited for television format and not the franchise that we all know and love if you're a potter head out there but if we get more harry potter movies i i honestly think it's a matter of when not if i think it's a matter of when not if i'm aware of all the comments that daniel has made i myself am someone who's not in agreement with the things that jk rowling has said but it's not to say that again you can't negotiate something with people at the end of the day I saw how happy they were during that reunion and I would hope that, that would be enough but I know it's not because when you're talking about bringing back Harry Potter you're gonna have to do more than just say okay we know JK Rowling is involved and you we know you don't have some agreements with her right now but can you come together and just put that aside it's gonna take more than that they have to be able to work that out but if they can't prequel series set in the wizarding world regarding characters we already have met in this franchise would be ideal too they can work uh it doesn't have to be new harry potter movies but if they bring it back i would love to see a three to five picture deal if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and name this video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video